Kessie with Appear on Beauty. For those of you that are new, I started this channel to share my passion for skincare with all of you. For returning viewers, thank you so, so much for all the love and support, and for subscribing to my channel, liking my videos, and sharing it with your family and friends. Guys, we reached 100 subscribers! <laughs> you know that what? <laughs> Volt will help announce the details of the giveaway, what the prize is, and how to participate later in this video, so stay tuned. So today I'll be going through day one of my skin cycling routine. So this video will include one of my top secret ways to get clearer skin, to avoid breakouts, and to get glass-like skin. You guys will definitely want to hear about this. Right now I'm skin cycling, which is an idea by Dr. Whitney Bowe. Basically it works like this. So the first night is exfoliation, the second night is retinol, and the third and fourth night are moisturizing or recovering from the first and second night. So before you start any skincare, make sure you brush your teeth first because you don't want to wash away all the hard work that you did with your skincare. So I'll be right back while I go brush my teeth. Day one is exfoliation, and I like to do a full exfoliation starting with my lips. Uh, so right now I'm using the Tree Hut Sugar Lips Sweet Mint Scrub. And I love mint lip products because it reminds me of Christmas, and I just love the cooling effect of it as well. If you guys know any good lip mint products, let me know. Um, so I usually take a small amount, probably like a pinch like that. And this product is really great. It has sugar, which helps with the exfoliation, but it also has jojoba oil and shea butter, which helps to moisturize. And peppermint is not just for the smell and the nostalgic feeling of Christmas, but it also has a cooling effect and it helps heal cracked lips. So once I'm done, I'm gonna wipe it off with a damp paper towel really get all that all those sugar granules off so guys come a little closer a little closer time to let you in on a little secret So double cleansing. So you start with an oil-based cleanser and then you go with a water-based cleanser. And the oil base helps to go in deeper in your pores and get out all the dirt and bacteria that might have accumulated during the day and that may not stick to water-based products. So you definitely want to start with oil. And then once that oil is uh, thoroughly massaged in your skin, you want to follow with the water-based cleanser. Now I was super sus about using oil on my face because I was worried that it would clog my pores or lead to breakouts, um, but it actually definitely gets a deeper clean and I'll tell you a way you can check your oils. So the second product in my nighttime skincare routine is the oil-based cleanser and this is the Oat Cleansing Balm by The Inky List. And I usually use about a dime size amount of this. And I love that it has oatmeal because oatmeal is great for those with sensitive skin. Um, it's really gentle and moisturizing. And another ingredient in this cleanser is almond oil. And almond oil helps to brighten the skin. It's also moisturizing. And it's a two on the commodogenic scale. So now I'm going to tell you about how you can check your oils while I massage this into my skin. So on the commodogenic scale, it'll tell you how likely the oil is to clog your pores. So zero being not likely at all, 10 being super likely. So you want to get an oil between zero to two on the commodogenic scale when you're using any oils on your face. And you can simply search it up. You can be like, what is the rating of this oil on the commodogenic scale? So for example, I just looked up almond oil on the commodogenic scale and it came up as a rating of two. Um, so like I said, definitely stick to the zero to two range for oils on your face. 
And most people massage this in for 10 to 15 minutes, and that's ideal, but who really has that time at night to spend 10 to 15 minutes just massaging oil on your face? I know I don't. So some people like to watch an episode of a TV show or start a movie while they're doing this so that it will pass the time. It definitely will get the blackheads and dirt out if you do it longer, but I usually do about one to two minutes and then I wash it off. So I'm gonna go wash this off right now and I'll be right back. So you want your face to still be wet but when you go into your water-based cleanser, um, right now I'm using the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Superfood Cleanser. And I talked about this in my morning routine. Uh, I really like the ingredients in it. It has kale and spinach extract as well as aloe vera juice. Okay. And as I mentioned, you want to take a small amount, about a dime size amount of this as well. And let it emulsify between your hands. And once you see it starting to foam up, like that. Then you want to go ahead and moisturize it into your skin, or cleanse your skin with it, sorry. And as you're cleansing with this water-based cleanser, it helps get rid of that oil that you also used with the oil-based cleanser. And then now I'm going to go wash this off and I'll be right back. So the water cleanser is more of a surface cleanser. It gets rid of the dirt and some of the excess oil that may be on the surface of your skin. Um, so that's why I double cleanse. So after cleansing, I'm going to go straight to the exfoliation. So this is the Ren AHA glow tonic okay. and then so this is a chemical exfoliant um, I like using chemical exfoliants because I feel like they get a deeper exfoliation um, I take about a maybe a little less than a quarter size amount and then I just damp it onto my skin and if you haven't heard of the Ren company before it's a clean company which means a lot of their products don't contain sulfates, silicones, parabens, uh, so it's a great company overall that they don't use any ingredients that could harm your skin. And the main ingredient in this one is the AHA uh, through lactic acid, um, so that's what's going to exfoliate your skin. But if it burns, you know like that meme with the dog with the fire behind it, and he's like, this is fine, this is not fine. Stop. And wash it off immediately. So the next product I use is one of my favorites. It's the COSRX Snail Mucin Essence. And this is 96% naturally derived. It is snail mucin, 96% snail mucin. I usually do about two to three pumps. And then I just gently pat it into my skin. And I have really dry, sensitive skin, so this is really hydrating for me, and it's also super gentle. It's That's why it's one of my favorites. <laughs> okay. So that's it for the fifth step of my routine. So to really lock in the AHA toner that I used, I used an AHA moisturizer as well. This is also by Ren. It's the Ren Overnight Glow uh, Mask. So this one's great for dark spots and the AHA also helps lock in that chemical exfoliation. So I usually just take a little bit, about a pea size amount, don't want to use too much and I'll go ahead and apply that onto my skin. And I really like the smell of it too. It's like um, it's like a light orange kind of smell. So this product also helps with hyperpigmentation and it's 94% naturally derived. But with layering AHAs or chemical exfoliants, be sure to check with your der dermatologist to make sure it's okay for your skin. 
So the last and the seventh step of my nighttime routine for day one is the Innistree Hyaluronic Acid Sleeping Mask. And I really like this mask because it has like a gel-like texture. Um, I usually take about a finger length like this and you can see that it's like a really clear gel-like texture that's really light on the skin. Um, it also has five types of hyaluronic acid which makes it penetrate more layers of the skin. And hyaluronic acid is a very great moisturizing ingredient, especially those with sensitive skin. And I really like this mask because it helps lock in all the previous um, products you used and helps keep that into your skin overnight. Alright, so that's the last step in my routine. That's it for day one of my skin cycling routine. So day two will be retinol night and that video will be dropping this Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. So the moment you've all been waiting for, drum roll please. Details on the giveaway. Thank you guys so, so much for the 100 subscribers. So the prize will be a $25 Sephora gift card or the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in the scent of your choice. Which, by the way, guys, I have a review video of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask on my channel, so be sure to check it out if you want to know more about it. So there's two steps to enter in this giveaway. The first step is you need to be subscribed to the channel, so be sure to subscribe right now if you're not. And the second step is to drop a comment below on a skincare product you can't live without. So you must do both of these things to have an entry in this giveaway. So number one, again, if you're not subscribed, please go hit that subscribe button. And number two, you must drop a comment in this video on a skincare product you can't live without. The combination of these two things will be your entry in the giveaway. I'm so excited to see who will win this giveaway. The winner will be announced next Saturday, November 5th, on my video, which will be about my final days, days three and four of my nighttime skin cycling routine. Once again, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.